what to do, what to do about mobile gaming. All right, I'm hitting this with some low-key Friday energy. I'm still recovering from our road trip and catching up on some work. But last night, I was chatting out with TK and Josh during the Best of Our Week podcast. And, and a major focus of that week's episode, talking about the Qualcomm announcement and that sexy new handheld gaming developer kit that Razer is showing off. Something kind of clicked for me on why I've been twitchy about buying another portable console, like, like a Nintendo Switch, and, and why I've been so heartbroken about the delay on the Steam Deck. I'm a phone nerd. More specifically, I'm a mobility nerd, and I have been since the earliest days of Palm PDAs and Windows Mobile Pocket PCs. I really want to get to a point where I can do everything I need and everything I want from a phone, from something that can fit in my pocket. I mean, especially as prices climb. I've never quite understood those people that, you know, they own a really nice phone and then they don't do much with it because they, they also have a living room console and a switch and a nice camera and all these other gadgets and accessories. I figure why not just own a mid-range phone but I digress. I don't want to have to carry a switch in addition to my phone if I can pack an accessory and use that with my phone to play the kind of games I like to play. You know, that to me makes more sense than owning two separate and discrete computers. But I was excited to give this concept a try on the Steam Deck for one critical difference the games. In the grand scheme of things, a Switch on its own is not a painful expense for us. But the idea of buying a Switch and buying into an ecosystem of software licensing made me a little anxious. One of the reasons why I lean towards PC gaming more than console is the access to my game library and compatibility. I'm carrying some silly baggage on this, but two console generations ago, it really cheesed me off that if I wanted to play my favorite PlayStation 3 twin stick zombie shooter, I could only play it on my PS3. I could not move anything, any of my PS3 games to my PS4. Now, newer consoles have gotten so much better about that kind of lock-in but it's still tough to beat the raw backwards compatibility of PC gaming. Maybe I want to play classic Aliens vs. Predator 2 with the Pred Alien DLC. That game is 20 years old. It makes me feel ancient. That's something I can easily do on the little Intel nook that's connected behind my TV in my living room. Talking hardware, a Steam Deck is significantly more expensive than a Switch but I have to buy zero new games for it. Out of the box, a good chunk of my Steam library is probably ready to go. And let's just admit now that uh, as PC games get a little bit older, PC game sales are <laughs> way better than any Nintendo game sales ever have been. But this Qualcomm Razer partnership definitely shows how competitive this mobile gaming landscape is about to become. And when I look at how I like to manage my game library and how I like to keep games in a collection that I can revisit regardless of what hardware I'm playing those games on, outside of PC gaming, mobile gaming on Android and iOS is kind of the next best thing. Yes, I have some old Android games that get twitchy on newer hardware. And there are lots of abandoned titles that might not work at all on future phones and future operating system updates. But when I wanna fire up Lego Star Wars, I just install it on my new phone and I start playing. I don't have to trot out my OnePlus 5 to revisit this game, or just because I have a new phone, I don't need to rebuy classic old phone games if I wanna play them again. There's certainly a stigma to mobile gaming because there's just so much garbage on Google Play and on the Apple App Store. That trend towards slot machine mechanics and games that squeeze you for all the microtransactions your wallet can handle. But below the ugly surface is this wonderful little renaissance of gaming where a lot of PC and console titles can find a second or a third life 
on phones and tablets. I'm certainly still interested in getting my Steam library on a portable console. I'm, I'm still excited about that idea. But last night's chat with Josh and TK kind of helped put my current mobile gaming solution into better perspective. And that this, this is really good. Let me throw this out there as we wrap up this video. What's your current mobile gaming strategy right now? Yeah, I would imagine there's a lot of love out there for the Nintendo Switch, but have you been mixing it up with any Android gaming, iOS gaming, maybe trying to play your PC titles over some kind of streaming service? Drop some of those comments down below. Let's have a chat about one of our favorite hobbies. As always, thanks so much for watching, sharing, and subscribing. The list of names scrolling by, that's a collection of the coolest tech pals on the planet. And many thanks to all of them for their continued support, supporting production on this channel. You too can join this list by checking out patreon.com slash some gadget guy. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, and the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next video.